Oh my chrome with Mr. Doe. Hey everybody, here we are with our final tech tip of the year. And this one is all about our discovery resources for your summer. You will be seeing this slide uh, coming out to you from the district of all those different resources and they'll have stuff from the classroom teachers as well. I want to go over what you will find from our discovery resources for, at Whitfield. To get started, all you have to do is click on my Bitmoji here. Summer, I'm lounging in my beach chair. And it's going to take you to my discovery website, but more importantly, our discovery resources here. And I will have a bunch of buttons for you to go to different links and different websites. The first one is the discovery e-learning activities. And when we open this up, you're going to see it. The first three ones are the Bitmoji classrooms and I've hyperlinked everything we have done over the last seven to eight weeks for e-learning from our discovery classrooms right here. It's got the news. It's got the YouTube channel. It's got May the 4th activities. If you click that blue speech bubble, it's got my email and we scroll down for K and one. You've got your Coach Bark Academy link. You've got your flip grid. So if you want to go back and check out other people's messages that you didn't get to see, now's your chance to do that. You just won't be able to reply to them or add any new posts. I'm going to be keeping them out there for you to view, just not to add to. And all those cool little Lego boards take you to our discovery e-learning activities. So if there was something you really like to do, it's linked right there. Now, this first one is kindergarten and first grade, but then we've got the second and third grade one. And if you take your cursor over any one of those and you have that hand show up, that means you can click and open it up. Then we've got the fourth and fifth grade. And I've pulled from some of those lessons, some of those optional activities as well. So you can see we've got some coding games and activities here, you know, our codable beach cleanup one. I know some of you really like that. We've got our science make a germ experiment and then some of the other games and activities. Our breakout EDU activity is linked right here. So you wouldn't have to go to that lesson if you just wanted to do the breakout box activity. Now I'm gonna go back here and so that was our e-learning activities. All that is linked there. Wilson School District Learning Resources. This is the website that was sent out to us at the beginning of all of this happening in the middle of March and end of March that came from the district. So I've linked that there. They've got some great resources um, for any time of the year, games, activities, uh, helping with the summer slide and tech and resources for families at home. Coding resources. Now I've added to this since we've gone over the coding resources. So I want to show you some of the new additions and you're probably already seeing that here. It's dash and dot and those Azobots. I have found that you can do some of the programming online. So take a look, try those out this summer. Great time during those rainy days to get in there and do some coding. Our Code Spark Academy. Now those account will still be open and active, but I'm not going to keep the class codes posted. So parents and families and students, if you need a class code to reconnect to CodeSpark Academy, please message me on Dojo or email me and my contact information you'll find here on this website as well as I'm going to be removing these codes. Our code.org access, that is still going to be up and live all over the summer. Those of you that want to try some scratch games, I count. And if you have questions, again, you can email me over the summer. But there's all these different activities and cards, step-by-step -step orders to do once you're in there. We have additional resources. And if you were looking to get any of the coding apps, tools, and games, and toys that we have in our Discovery Lab, that is linked right there. And it could take you out to Amazon to make those purchases as well. And of course, then down below, any of our regular of the year coding resources. We head back. Um, you can see the home STEM toolkit. This one though comes from the state of Pennsylvania and they put together this, you know, collaboration of teachers and professionals all across the state 
adding into this awesome STEM toolkit. So I just saw this. And I'm like, I have to share this with our staff and our kids and families. So more activities, uh, steam in the kitchen. Ooh, could be some messy fun this summer. Good luck, parents and families. <laughs> Uh, and even more resources. You can check that out, Code at Home. And then they, of course, have links to our local PBS stations. Lots of good stuff from this state year. Uh, our activities at home, click on that. And that takes you to what I was doing at the beginning of all of this back in March and April. You know, Friday we said do a Ford or make a paper airplane. Uh, that was all linked right there. Now, BCIU has tons of resources for distance learning and activities for any time. Parents, families, please check out the community one and the for parents and families. I may have shared that as well on the village, but this is going to be great for you for any of these general resources. It's not just for education. That is one of them, but they do have other resources there for you. And kids, you're going to want to check out some of these activities. Uh, for you there and take a look at some of the CS and STEM resources. Now, if we scroll down, speaking of my STEAM and items from us as the discovery teachers here, these are two documents that we put together. And you can see in the one in orange here, this will hyperlink you and take you to a whole lot of different fun activities. Uh, you can go to see arts and museums. Speaking of virtual field trips, there's a section right here for you. So you might not be able to get everywhere on vacation this summer, but you could from the comfort of your own home on your devices. All right. And down at the bottom, these are great resources. We just got a hold of these. Uh, Wizards of Wright. Uh, talk about doing, those of you that love science experiments and science experiment videos, this is going to be the place you're going to want to check out. Wizards of Wright. Wow. Do it yourself. They've got the directions here. Bottle music. That sounds fun. Some of them, they've got video instructions, but I'll just quickly scroll down. You can see there is a lot right there. And if I go to Wizards of Right and I click on this one, this takes you to those science videos. The other ones were videos on how to do, ooh, slime time, an experiment. These are also just TV shows and science videos for you um testing homemade masks oh that would be great for what we're going through right now so that would be something to go through uh wouldn't it be fun to make instant ice cream over the summer mm -hmm. i'm already loving it so check out wizards of right and then down at the bottom i know you don't, won't have your chromebook so you won't be able to quick get to that uh home page I have linked it on our resources. So if you want to get in, do your prodigy, your sum dog over the summer, Zern, extra math, all those resources and websites you would have used during the school year are right here on our discovery resources page. And look, there's Mrs. Schultz's library page linked as well. I know she's going to be uh, sharing some more stuff out with you too. And here you can get to our homepage for our school. Alrighty, gang, lots of resources there for you. I hope you have a great summer. And when you need something to do, check out our discovery uh, activities and all that fun. Lots of digital stuff for you to try. Do coding, hands-on activities, and videos. Have a fantastic summer. And I can't wait to see most of you again. And to our fifth graders, best of luck in middle school. Bye, everybody.